angels, so today's video is one that I bloody hate filming. I hate having to pick favourites, but I'm doing the impossible task of sharing with you guys my top five niche fragrances for life. Now, I don't think that you guys are going to be surprised at all by the fragrances that I've included today. And I always feel like this topic is never set in stone because next month, my bloody top five could change completely. But these are my top five currently, my favourites, the best of the best. And brother, I am so sorry, but oh, this touched my chin and it was really wet. I am not participating in the games of ranking these five fragrances. When I tell you how much I love these fragrances almost equally, there's no way that you will see me come on here and start ranking them. It's just not gonna happen. But I'm just gonna get the first one out of the way. It's like you're sitting there like, oh, I know which fragrance is gonna be in this video. <laughs> Initio side effect. Guys, this is my top, top, top favourite fragrance of all time. I genuinely could not be without this fragrance in my collection. And I've been dealing with heartbreak, loss, um, grief, because I'm hearing rumours under the grapevine that this fragrance has been reformulated. <laughs> like, guys, can you feel my pain? Like, can you feel my pain? You guys have been with me since the beginning of time. You guys know how much I adore this fragrance. So you can only begin to imagine the kind of suffering, all right, that I am dealing with thinking about the fact that this fragrance has been reformulated. I've had people commenting on my YouTube videos saying that the fragrance has been reformulated. I've also seen people in the fragrance community talking about it on posts as well. Guys, I cannot confirm nor deny that this fragrance has been reformulated. So I go and smell this myself in store, that is when I will confirm. However, I do have something really interesting to tell you about this fragrance. So because I had a little bit of a panic attack and I was like, I need a backup bottle ASAP. I bought a backup bottle of this fragrance from someone that had a vintage bottle of maybe about four years ago. And I don't want to be too like, ooh, like too irrational right now because I need to like sickle myself, give myself some time with this information or process. Or, I don't even know what trying to word I'm, <laughs> I don't know what trying to what. I don't know what kind of word I'm trying to say, but I felt like the vintage version that I received last week was a lot more potent, um, a lot more boozy, and it just smelled a little bit different to the, the original scent that I remembered, but in a very good way. Um, so I'm not sure whether people that are saying it's been reformulated maybe had a very vintage version of the fragrance, and the newer formula is the one that we know and love, or I know and love, because I've only had initial side effects in my collection for maybe about two years. I feel like I've gone off on a bit of a tangent, guys, but what I'm gonna do is I am going to do a little bit of an investigation. I'm gonna go into store, I'm gonna smell this newer formulation, compare it to the bottle that I currently have, and then also compare it to the vintage version that I've got, and then we'll see. But guys, in the meantime, let's say a prayer. We may need to do a bit of a eulogy to depart the old formula of initial side effect if it has been reformulated. And guys, can you please like check in on me to make sure that I'm doing well because I don't think that I'm doing okay. This is 100% in my top fragrances for life. Like, I, I can't be without it. Okay guys, this next one, I feel like you're gonna be really shocked that this is in my top five niche fragrances for life. And I am a little bit shocked myself, to be honest. When I was looking at my collection and I was picking out my top five niche fragrances for life, I knew that I had to include this because not only could I not live without this fragrance, but it is one of my most warm fragrances as well. This is Maison Francis Kirkjean's Buckola Rouge 540 X-Ray. Now, I have a backup bottle of this fragrance. You already know how much I adore this scent. I wear it a lot. And guys, please do not believe that I'm doing basic Becky and wearing this on its own. Oh, no, no, no. Guys, me not do that, all right? Because Every single time I leave my house and I go to anywhere, even if I'm in the train station, I'm like, I'm smelling Baccarat. Are you wearing Baccarat? Like, it feels like Baccarat is almost taking over air pollution in London. Every single Tom, Dick and Harry, even the bloody foxes are wearing Baccarat. So I just can't really wear this as a fragrance on its own. I also don't feel like it has... I just also don't really feel like it's interesting on its own. However, guys, 
I layer this with everything. Everything that I wear, I will do a little of Baccarat on top. I always feel like Salt Bay, like sprinkling a little bit of salt on top of like a layering combo. It just adds a little bit of fairy dust. This fragrance just works so beautifully with all of the fragrances in my collection. I love using it as a layering tool. And yeah, it's my most worn. I go through this like it's water. <laughs> like this, I think this is my backup bottle actually. And yeah, I've used a lot of this and then my other bottle's in there and that's about like three quarters done. And I will purchase another bottle of Baccarat because yeah I could not be without it right guys so this next one is no surprise to you this is my best discovery of 2022 so far I'm absolutely obsessed obsessed with this scent this is EBK's deep and desire and I always say deep and desire and forget the yachts like guys it's got the name yacht in it oh Guys, why, where was, guys, where was this fragrance in my life when I was shaking my ass on a yacht in Dubai? Like, where was it? Like, this fragrance is called Deep in Desire Yacht. So, all it needed is a bit of, like, shaking my ass on a yacht. So basically guys, if you're wearing a fong, you're on a yacht in Dubai, this is the kind of fragrance that you need, basically. And it really does smell exactly that. <laughs> it really does it, guys. Guys, I cannot tell you how incredible this fragrance is. This is my spring summer staple. This is the fragrance I wear when I know I want compliments. I know that I want to smell like out of this world. You know how there's like a lot of fragrances in your collection that you love, but people, they're not really gonna give you compliments on them, you know, but you don't care. Whereas this one, when I want guaranteed compliments and I wanna smell like a blueberry sweet muffin, but in the most complex and sexiest way possible, then that is when I reach for this. I am just blown away with this fragrance, guys. I'm just, oh, I, I love it. I really, really effing love this fragrance. And, and I just could not see myself falling out of love with this fragrance. So you guys, this is 100% in my top five niche fragrances for life. Like, I am not living without this fragrance in my collection. There is no why. This next one is my showstopper fragrance. When I want to stand out, I want to smell powerful, bold, sexy, intoxicating. This is the fragrance that I reach for. This is Nishane Neffs. Guys, my number one best discovery of 2021. I was blown away with this fragrance as soon as I first smelt it. And besides discovering Deep in Desire Yacht this year, there isn't a fragrance that has blown me away as much as this fragrance did the first time I smelt it. Guys, this is a complex, boozy, vanillic oud. It's got a lot of spices in it. And it really is just a very special, high quality fragrance that really is for when you wanna be noticed and you wanna be bold, honey. You are not gonna just wear this, you know, in the office or anything like that. It just, it's, it's not appropriate, okay? It is appropriate for when you wanna stand out. I mean, maybe if I wanna stand out in the office, then I will wear this, but yeah. Otherwise, I usually wear this for like nights out. This really is special juice to me and I could not live without this in my collection so it has to be my top five niche fragrances for life like what and this last one was so hard because I knew that I wanted to include a niche gourmand in my collection and I have so many I have so many niche gourmands in my collection and I only could really include one um, it obviously had to be vanilla because it's my favourite note ever. And I was looking at my collection like, what's my favourite vanilla fragrance in my collection? Guys, no question, I could not live with the Cantos Mirabelle in my collection. A special, 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 special vanilla. Guys, <laughs> guys, if you haven't tried this fragrance, I really do not know what you are doing with your life if you're a vanilla lover. As I always say about this fragrance, it's not your typical vanilla fragrance at all. It really does have a uniqueness and something special about it, if that makes sense. It's got this really nice kind of green uh, minty opening at the top, which may scare you. I remember one of my colleagues, I sprayed this on her, but before I did, I said to her, 
bear with it in the opening. You're gonna get a lot of mints, so don't be scared. And literally, she adored it. It dries down into the most deep, rich, sexy, sensual, and super beast mode vanilla fragrance. It is so, so addictive. And I think the main reason why I've included it in my top five niche fragrances for life is just how much I wear this fragrance. It's so hard because I wanted to include Silky Woods, I wanted to include Helwa. Um, there's so many vanilla fragrances I have in my collection that I adore, but this one just is my most worn. The one that just catches my attention the most and just stands out against all the other vanilla fragrances that are on the market. And I feel that you can get this at a really good price. I got mine for about 70 pounds. So guys, it's chicken change, okay? Like when I run out of this, I could just buy a new one and it will just be like, calm, cool. It's Mirabelle, 100% top five niche fragrances for life. Who knows? Maybe I should do this video again in two months time because I can guarantee you that these fragrances will change. Who knows what fragrances are gonna be my favorites, my most worn in the next two months. So do not take this video as like my forever top five niche fragrances for life. I always feel like with these videos, they can things can swap out, things can change. The only fragrance that, to be honest, I could probably, see the only two fragrances sorry that I can genuinely see being in my top five forever is side effect and deep and desire I think those two are just like top 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 and then the rest are like still top top you know guys let me know in the comment section what your top five niche fragrances for life are and also let me know if you want me to do the designer version of this video before you leave don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up as you know it really supports my visibility on youtube and if you're new subscribe i would love if you join the family <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye